enough of that wanking away. Hopefully I'm live. I just did this a few minutes ago, wanked away some, and uh, it turned out that I wasn't broadcasting. Pretty fun. So hopefully there's somebody out there in cyberspace. Um, according to my uh, calculations here, according to my software, I'm broadcasting to Facebook and I'm broadcasting to YouTube. So hopefully I'm hitting both of those folks right now. I'm shooting a ton of videos today for you, a whole new series of stuff, uh, both for YouTube and for the Unstoppable Guitar System. Oh my gosh, so many great things happening right now. I just can't even tell you. I'm so excited. It's really a lot of fun. So, um, and here you go. This weekend, going to be doing a huge live webcast on how to practice guitar. So I've been getting these questions a lot from folks. They're saying, Eric, I'm stuck, you know, I'm in a rut, or I've got holes in my playing, or I don't know how to practice, I don't know what to practice, I'm bored, I'm frustrated. These are all natural feelings that we have as guitar players. And so there are things that we can do to get over that, and a lot of that has to do with the way that you practice. If you're kind of taking too much, then you're going to be frustrated. If you're not getting enough, you're going to get bored. So we want to be right there in the middle where we're just getting just the right amount of information at the right amount of time. That's why I created the courses the way that I have. And uh, so that's what we're going to do this weekend. If you want to sign up for that, it's yourguitarsage.com slash live. The, you, the, the link for that should be in the description below this video. So there you go. And we'll be giving away over $1,000 worth of, of stuff, okay? Um, including guitars and, uh, I don't know, tuners, capos, all sorts of stuff. But first off, let me see, make sure, I'm going to make sure that you guys are hearing me okay and all that good stuff. Oh, good. Okay, so folks are, there's Danny, Danny Roby. What's up, Danny? Um, John... So, okay, good, good. Folks are writing in, and for whatever reason, I always find that on these videos that um, I, don't, I don't get to see all my... These videos <laughs> that um, I, don't, I don't get to see all my... These videos <laughs> that... Uh... Okay, sorry, I had to shut myself up there because in order for me to see all the comments... Uh, I need to actually go into the video. So here I go. Okay, good, good, good. Let me look at some of these. I'm gonna try to grab some questions here. Sorry for the sloppy plan. I've been doing so much teaching lately that I'm not getting to practice my guitar like I want to. Uh, unfortunately, that's the trade-off uh, that I'm either teaching or I'm practicing. Obviously, I've got family and stuff like that too, but I get the idea. Okay, I'm gonna blaze through some questions here, see if we have any. I'm not, this isn't gonna be a long broadcast. It's more of just kind of like a touchstone. I wanted to see how you guys are doing, see what problems you guys are having, see if I can help in any way for those that aren't in my program, uh, for folks, those, those folks around the world that aren't in my program and they need a question answered or two, they can do it. I've got some new camera angles. Well, we've seen this one before, this close up, yay. Check this out, wing-a-ding right there. There's my pedal board and you can see I got, it's a nice day, so I got my flip-flops on. Um, hi there, so we can do this. We can get into the board individually, little sections here, um, all sorts of really fun stuff. And oh, by the way, uh, the stuff that we're giving away this weekend is this guitar, the jam stick. I'm going to be giving away a lifetime membership to the Unstoppable Guitar System. Uh, the lovely Dragon's Heart picks. I'll be giving uh, tuners away. I'll be giving capos away. I'll be giving string sets away. So much stuff. I don't even know where to start. A lot of stuff. Over a thousand dollars worth of stuff. Okay. So let me look real quick at these questions. Make sure that there's none that we need to get to. Uh, I'm sorry for folks that are watching on YouTube right now. I've got so many computers and I've got, I've got a computer here. I've got a lot of uh, iPad here, I've got my phone here, I've got the computer, the main computer that's sending this stream out to the interwebs right now, and so many cameras and uh, everything. It's crazy. So, um, unfortunately, I don't have a ninth computer sitting in front of me, so I can't answer any, f any YouTube chat right now. So, uh, someone remind folks that of that if you're in there, and head over to my Facebook page, Facebook dot com slash your guitar sage it's super easy to find uh you probably a link somewhere where you're at right now but either way facebook.com you know that one slash your guitar sage mm, like you put it on your food or like a, an old guy sitting up on the hill teaching about stuff 
let's go. Let's answer some questions. All right, so here we go. So, uh, love the blues. Luke is saying, keep on blues. Nice guitar. Tividar is saying, yes, listening to you, John. Uh, Danny, Danny Roby. What's up, man? Hey there, Michael. Uh, do Udemy students get the new videos too? Lynn, no, they do not. It's only for unstoppable guitar system folks. Uh, it's a, a little bit more of a price to be in that program, and that's why they get, uh, well, like tonight, I'm doing a live um, one to, you know, a few people. Um, it's kind of like a the, the Unstoppable Guitar System is where I teach for some of the folks that are asking or wondering out there. I have stuff on the Unstoppable Guitar System, which is my website, and then I have stuff on Udemy, which it's cheaper there. You can get a lot of my videos there for, for very cheap, udemy.com uh, slash Eric Andreas. You could go there. Uh, but the good thing about the Unstoppable uh, guitar system is that we I do live monthly videos, sometimes twice a month, uh, where I'm meeting with folks. I'm doing that. Am I doing that tonight? No, sorry, I did that last night. I'm all mixed up. I've been doing so many videos, it's not even ha it's not even funny. Did that last night, Monday night. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm adding an, an hour of new material every single week, not including jam tracks. That jam track just now that you heard is something that I created in the studio here, and um, and there you go. You can get those a bunch too. Okay all that good stuff in the Unstoppable Guitar System. Okay, um, cannot wait for this webcast. All the things I wanted to know. Practice is one of the most I've been struggling with. Thank you, Ninja. Great, Roy. That's what we're gonna be talking about this weekend, yourguitarstage.com slash live. Make sure you sign up there. Look at this pretty lady. I have a question. How is it you keep getting more handsome? Thank you very much, uh, Miss Pierce Mankey, Miss Melissa Pierce Mankey. I appreciate that, that's very kind. Uh, maybe we can talk after the broadcasts. Um, all right, so here we go. Um, I happen to know that lady. All right, so here we go. Pretty nice sunburst strat. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. How do you pronounce that? Nirnath? It's a cool name. Cameron, love. Uh, live video feed is bad. Audio not in sync. Please let me know if that's the same for you guys or that's just Cameron. Sometimes folks get um, different feeds and that sort of thing. And... Um, I'm not seeing that from anybody else, so hopefully it's just Cameron and his system there. But um, hopefully it's not everybody. That would not be good. All right. Okay, so uh, let me see if I can get some questions. Man, this thing is flying. So enjoy your son's pics. He's growing up so fast. He is. He is indeed. Thanks, Roy. Uh, should I learn the scales before I learn specific riffs? Michael, uh, it doesn't really matter um, except... I would say to go ahead and learn the riffs and learn scales also, but it's kind of like talking. When we teach a small child, like I'm teaching my kid here how to talk, I'm not going to hand them a dictionary, which is equivalent to scales. It's good. Dictionaries are good. They're good reference. And, uh, but really, it's all about how does it sound. So if I play... It's like, yeah, it's within the scale, but I'm thinking about it as a riff. Otherwise, my scale would sound like this. Very, not very filled with life. This is cool. So even though I'm using a scale there, it still sounds much cooler as playing as phrases. So play phrases for sure. Really a good thing to do, okay? Um, boy, this thing is flying. Okay, Michael, God, how many people we got in here? 124 and then however many on, on YouTube. So that's pretty cool. Um, yes, 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 yes. Uh, we're doing the practice this weekend. How do I start learning songs by ear? By learning songs by ear. I know that sounds silly. Um, I have a video for this. I did a live webcast on this on YouTube. You can search, search Your Guitar Sage Live Ear and you'll probably find it. I also have videos for that on YouTube. Um, YourGuitarSage.com slash 30. I have my free 30 lesson series which kind of introduces you to some of this. Uh, some of these principles about learning to play by ear, so make sure you go that to get that. That's absolutely free. You don't need a credit card or anything for that. Um, but uh, I have videos for this, and I have a whole series in the Unstoppable Guitar System. You could get in there right now for a dollar to trial offer that. That's going away. 
I think we're, that's going away on the 13th of May. Pretty sure. Mark your calendars. If you don't do it before, then it's gone, gone forever. I swear to you, it's going away. We're not doing the dollar offer anymore. It's just our structure's changing with the website and everything. We're not going to be able to do it. But everything will be a la carte. Pretty cool, right? You'll be able to buy lessons one at a time for a buck a piece. What? Yes, it's coming up. So, um, but nonetheless, that's how to, you know, I've got source resources for you to play by ear, okay? Um, yeah, oh, hey, thanks, Roy, for putting that up. Um, hopefully, that's a, a, a good video. Uh, I've learned a lot from you. Can't wait to join UGS next month if uh, hopefully join. Cheers from Argentina. Nice. Thanks, Juan. I appreciate it. Hey, Eric, just wondering how important is music theory in helping to improve as a guitar player? Um, music theory is important, but it's kind of like this. You could grow up on a deserted island, and if someone knows how to communicate with you, then you'll learn how to communicate. You'll say, this is a coconut, this is a ball, this is the other coconut, this is the third coconut, this is a coconut tree. Um, these are broken coconuts on the ground. Whatever, you're talking to people, and they're learning by osmosis, by you just talking, right? So we don't need a, a teacher, and we don't need a... a a dictionary at that point. We can still learn this way. So is music theory important? I think it's absolutely crucial. But if you had a choice of learning just taking songs and mimicking or music theory, if you only had one to choose from, I would pick learning stuff by ear all day long because these are rules and the rules are based upon what we hear. So really it's us analyzing what we already, what our ear tells us. That's the most important thing. In the same breath, Yes, learn as much music theory as possible. Mozart said, learn all the rules and then forget about it. And then it'll just come out automatically. He didn't say that part, but that's what he meant by that, okay? Um, okay, is there any... Uh, let's go back. Um, yeah, there you go. Is there any exercise for switching between rhythm and lead playing? Is there any exercises? The exercise mark is to do that. I know that sounds silly, but... Take the, you know, if you're playing a whole solo and then you're playing a whole chord progression and that whole thing takes uh, a minute, uh, don't take that whole minute. Just take the last lick that you were doing and then the first two chords or so of what you're playing in your rhythm part and loop that part. Maybe that's like 10 seconds long. So if you loop that 50 times, you know, it'll take 500 seconds as opposed to 500 minutes if you did it the other way. So that's what to do and do that with everything is to take that smaller chunk, take the seam and work the seam. Does that make sense? Oh, here's Miss Melissa again. You can find me upstairs. Nice. Um, <laughs> GT Burnett. It's good here. Melissa, it's good on Facebook. Good. Thank you so much, Melissa. Working proper, perfect for me. Okay, so hopefully hopefully Cameron just has a bad connection. Hopefully, Cameron. We want you to stay, though. So can you please play the one? Can you please play the one? Love to see you playing. Is that a song, Arnab? I'm not sure. Let me know. Marlene. Uh, hey, Eric. Uh, nice to see you. Happy face guitar again. Happy face again. I have a question. <clears throat> Where did I get happy face guitar? It's weird. Where do I look when performing on stage? Directly into the eyes of the audience freaks me out a bit and makes me forget about what I'm playing, but looks only at the fretting hand doesn't seem right either. That is one of the most intelligent questions that I've heard in a long time. Where do you look when you're playing live? It's so true. It's so like people are looking at you. You're like, you know. I'm getting scared. It's true. You don't want to like look and straight into the people's eyes. Not only is that intimidating, uh, in the animal world, they'll attack you. So don't do that. Okay. Uh, what I like to do when I'm playing live is I like to look at my instrument when I need to. I like to look at the other the other musicians as I'm playing and we're playing off of each other. Sometimes I'll go over to one side of the stage and play and look at the drummer and you know react or you know interact with them. Um, interact with the crowd. If you have somebody that comes up to you and they're like, yeah, go, then you, you kind of, you play off of them. But if I'm just playing, what I'll do a lot of times is I'll scan the room. I'll look above people's heads. I'll, I'll size people up and say, you know, that person's listening. That person's not. That person's drunk. That person's drunk. That person's drunk. Uh, that sort of thing. Uh, but that's what I like to do is I like to just kind of 
kind of, just kind of scan and have some fun. If you're a single uh, musician up there, then, and then hopefully you got enough lights where it's just kind of dark, then what I like to do is I like to kind of look at people, but you're not looking directly into their eyes. You're just kind of looking. You don't want to, you know, scan one person and just look at them all the time. Take your take your pick of people and, and have fun with them. Work off of them, you know? Great question. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, heck. Can I buy the trial and start using it from like May 24th or something? No, I wish you could, Nathan. It won't be around, but do it now. It's not going to be around at May 24th. It's going away at like May the 13th, something like that. I'm having final exams next month and I won't have much time. Ah, that sucks, Nathan. Well, you can always get my free guitar videos at yourguitarstage.com slash 30. Mind you, there's only 30 there, but the 30 most important uh, lessons that I teach and so you could go there for free, yourguitarstage.com slash 30, and then come back and then you can uh, watch these other ones, you know, one at a time at, at um, yeah, Unstoppable Guitar System, okay? Uh, Nancy, how do you build chords off of scales? I talk about that in the course. There's a lot about that, but um, I, I would, it would take some time to do that. But uh, suffice to say, if you can get this in the short amount of time, you know, everybody wants the information in a short amount of time, and when you give it, they say, well, I don't understand that, because you need longer to explain something. So I'm going to do this really quickly. Um, but if you need more detail, check out the trial or the yourguitarstage.com slash 30. So every scale or major scales have seven notes in them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And each one of those notes has a chord assigned to it. And one, four, five are major, two, three, six are minor, and the seven's diminished. Easy enough. So we could say, take the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to one. And for each one of those chords we could play or each one of those notes we could play a chord. So G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, uh, F sharp diminished, and back to G. And that works the same way for every single scale, every single major scale. It's major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, okay? Uh, I'm gonna, I just did some wicked cool videos for this that are in the unstoppable guitar system. Again, to get started on that, yourguitarstage.com slash 30, that'll get you the first 30 lessons for free. Or, head straight to unstoppable guitar system, get in there for a buck, it's, all, it's gonna go away in just a couple weeks, okay? Um, okay, so there's that. Where on your website can I find the pricing for the unstoppable guitar system? Lynn, go to unstoppableguitarsystem.com. That's where you're going to find the pricing. We've got monthly, we've got quarterly, and we've got uh, lifetime memberships. And obviously, the lifetime membership's the best deal. You're in with me forever. I'm in with you forever. And um, I'll just keep cranking out videos, I guess, until I die, which hopefully will be a long time from now. All right, I'm decent at chords, trying to figure out turnarounds. Ah, Danny, you're going to love it. I just did a, a really cool video It's on YouTube that basically says if you know the, the, the tonic of a note, um, you can do the turnaround real easy. And it and it's going to walk you through that, okay? In any place in the neck, any key, easily, very quickly, okay? So check that out. It's coming up soon. That's a, that'll be on YouTube. Uh, it'll also be in the Unstoppable Guitar System in more detail. Basically, that's what I do is on YouTube... Um, not nearly as many videos as Unstoppable Guitar System. That really, truly teaches you how to play the guitar. Uh, what I do on YouTube is teaching songs and that sort of thing, because that's what folks seem to want out there. And, uh, and I have some theory lessons and stuff like that on YouTube, but not, as, not nearly as much as Unstoppable. Okay? And definitely more detail there as well. All right, Mike, uh, Mikhail is saying, hi there from Sweden. Oh, I love Sweden. Uh, thank you for all the work you put down. You're so welcome, Mikhail. I love Sweden. I went to Stockholm a few years ago with my wife, and it was beautiful. It was so wonderful, you know. Eric, please do a tutorial for Straight On by Heart. An, an acoustic version uh, would be awesome. Thanks, man. Sure thing, Ryan. I'll put it on the very, very long list, you know. Luca, where do I come from? Uh, <laughs> I could answer that in several different ways, but... Um, my mother's womb. Uh, I come from Florida. That's where I originally. I was born in Titusville, where they where they shoot the missiles off of. Off of where they shoot the missiles from, 
Cape Canaveral, Titusville, Cocoa Beach area. That's where I grew up. Now I'm in Nashville. Um, thanks on the theory answer. You're so welcome. Can you please see? remember anybody who's watching this on YouTube? These questions that I'm reading are on Facebook. So go to facebook.com slash your guitar sage. Sorry, I've got so many computers around me. I don't have yet a ninth computer to be, uh, to be reading the questions off of YouTube as well. And it's just too freaking convoluted and crazy to do it. Okay. Can you please suggest two riffs for an intermediate guitarist to practice? Two riffs? Uh, better yet, Loretta, why don't you practice uh, the, the pentatonic scale, which I have videos for this, so I won't go into detail, but on YouTube I have them. Um, like the A pentatonic scale, which goes from the low E string, fifth fret, you're going to go 5-8, five, 5-7, five, 5-7, five, 5-7, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. So basically 5-8 on strings 1, 2, and 6 and five, seven on the other three strings. But I have some, but learn that in one key, you can put it in all different keys and you can play in any single song, any single song, I promise you. Watch uh, the most powerful scale in the world. It's on, it's on YouTube. Uh, it's called the most powerful scale in the world. Just type in your guitar stage, most powerful scale in the world. And I teach about that. Uh, that's great for intermediates. Um, okay. If you know that, you can practice, you can know literally hundreds of solos. It's an amazing, amazing bit to know. How do I tell by looking at the music if a song is in drop D or C? You can't tell by the music. If you're looking at tablature in the upper left-hand corner, it'll usually say like instead of E-A-D-G-B-E, it'll say D-A-D-G-B-E, or it'll say drop D. That would mean um, uh, the D tuning you're talking about, you know? Um, okay, um, did that not showing up for some reason? What's not showing up? Uh, UnstoppableGuitarSystem.com is where you need to go. What do you mean not showing up, Lynn? It should show up, uh, or just go to Google and type in Unstoppable Guitar System and I'll pop up to the top. Click that and then once you, you're going to have to peruse around a little bit on that, but it should guide you into the different options for pricing, okay? But suffice to say, it's $40 a month. Or quarterly, it's $100 every three months until you're, until it's paid off, which is uh, a year. And so, so four payments uh, of $100. And, or the lifetime membership is just 400 bucks. Okay? Easy enough. All right, so uh, where are the sharps and flats at start of sheet music? Do they also apply to the chords? Example, C sharp and C chord. Yes, they, most, they apply to everything in the music. Uh, when there are sharps and flats, yeah, they do. They apply to everything, okay? Um, okay, thank you, Lynn. Thank you for updating me on that. The live stream on Facebook is awesome. You answered my question, which has actually helped me a lot direct towards your website, which I will do. Great. Oh, good. Hey, look, we're, we're coming up here. David says, play some Slayer. <laughs> good night. I don't even, I didn't grow up listening to Slayer, but listen to bands equally as heavy. Um, so, <laughs> there you go. Play some Slayer. Um, so if you haven't heard who the Slayer is, they're super heavy and the guitars are, are really amazing. Uh, okay, Anna's saying, hello, Eric from Macedonia. Uh, why did I say it like that? Macedonia. I don't even know if they say it like that. Just wanted to let you know that the first solo I learned ever on the guitar was five years ago from your lesson on the song, um, I Got a Feeling. Oh, sweet. Yay. Thank you. Wonderful. Me again, uh, what would you suggest someone to learn? Probably music theory uh, wise, but anything welcome. If they're looking to really create their own songs, rock and blues, probably also anything to figure out new sounding styles or sounds, anything specific, maybe, or. Okay, so here's what I would do. For everybody listening out there, number one, I don't just say it to say it. I, I'm not getting paid for this. YourGuitarSage.com slash 30. You gotta watch those 30 lessons. There's a reason I put those 30 lessons in the beginning. It's because it's what I teach here in Nashville. When you come, to, if you came to see me, it'd be the first 30 lessons that I teach you and it's building a massively firm foundation that's gonna help with all your guitar playing. After that, I would say learn the diatonic chords in the key of G and C. I teach this in the Unstoppable Guitar System over two videos, only two videos, that's it, super easy. So you can either try the, the trial right now or wait till the a la carte system starts and you can buy those two videos for $2, easy enough. 
or buy it for one dollar today and you can go straight to those videos and have everything else for two weeks. All right, so, but the, basically the chords in the key of G, you know, um, I won't go over them. I did, I did earlier in the broadcast, but that's what you want to do is learn them in the key of G and C. Use your capo and play in any key very easily, okay? Uh, that's what I would do, Nathan. Hey, Eric, awesome. We'll be joining Sunday. Yay, thank you, Tosita. I appreciate that. YourGuitarSage.com slash live. Go sign up for that right now or... After the broadcast, I'm going to be doing a huge broadcast this weekend, Sunday, 2 p.m., giving away over $1,000 worth of stuff and teaching you how to think about how to practice on the guitar. So important. Sure, you can get up and wank away. Sure, anybody can do that. But what about a direct place to get where you want to go? Part of that has to do with your desires. But we're going to be talking about how to kind of get over that hump of strumming and playing the chords at the same time and what you can do to bridge that gap, which tends to be the problem for everybody in the beginning, you know? Can you give a demo on the vibrato bend? Yeah, so Victor, so <clears throat> what Victor's talking about here is like when you're bending a note and it's nice when you do a vibrato with a bend, otherwise it's sounds a little boring. So if I were to go Wow, that's like I tried not to, vib to do vibrato and I just automatically do. It's so boring. So the idea here is you're bending across uh, the strings one, two, three, you bend up, strings four, five, six, you bend down, and so everything towards the center of the guitar, and you practice by saying, if you want to go a half step up, you play the note a half step up, and then you bend up to that pitch. That's how you get good intonation. Whole step up. That's how you practice. Then once you have your bends down, then you can add the vibrato. Once you get up to that top note, then you just give it a little bit of a flutter. It does take time. It's awkward for everybody at first. So if your vibrato sounds weird, welcome to the club. Eddie Van Halen's and Jimi Hendrix's did too, until it sounded better, until they practiced it enough. But the idea here is... You want to make sure that you keep, that you maintain the pitch and your ear will tell you if that's happening or not, okay? Um, okay, so the musical scale, ho, ho, half, ho, 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 half, no matter where you are, start on the fretboard. Yes, what Tony's saying is the, the major scale can be played. So, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. A half step being one fret, a whole step being two. If you use that pattern that Tony just wrote there, WWH, WWWH, it'll allow you to play major scales all over the fretboard. From the major scale, we get the minor scale, we get all the jazz modes in every single key. So that little formula that Tony just put up there is literally the fingerprint, the DNA of music. Amen, period. You gotta know more about music in order to understand what I just said there, but it's totally true. The way chords are constructed, the way music's constructed, jazz, blues, rock, all. That one little scale right there. That's why it all, it all begins with that. That's why I teach that. It's one of the, one of the first things that I teach, okay? Um, so we just use this form because it's easier. Or, you know, it's all different forms of that, okay? Um, hey, great to see you with the guitar and not in the car, Steve is saying. Ha, <laughs> right? I know, I'm always driving around doing question and answer. So, um, thank you for answering these questions. I'll check out the 30. Yes, everybody, check out yourguitarsage.com slash 30. I specifically made these videos for you so you don't have to pay a bunch of money, okay? And I had folks asking questions uh, that I couldn't get to in India or whatever. So, here you go. You know, there you go. Um, is, is there, is, I'm going to try to pronounce this right, is, Isidro, is that how to pronounce it? Isidro. Um, hopefully that's right. Avia. Isidro Avia. 
I think that's how to say that. Uh, hey, Eric, uh, this is great. How about teaching some prints? Rip. Yes, I should. Boy, oh boy, he is really getting a lot of um, a lot of dedications and stuff right now. He's a insane. He was an insane guitar player. Great guitar player. He never. You don't know that from his music because he didn't do it much, but he was a great player. Um, is the link in the update section for Sunday? No, it's not, Michael. What he means by that is uh, Michael means, you know, for in the unstoppable guitar system because Michael's one of my, my UGS members. It's not. You got to go to yourguitarstage.com slash live because this is for everybody. This one is not just for UGS. It's for everyone, okay? Um, uh, David's saying... Uh, Iron Maiden, and I'm saying, sure. So there you go. There's a little Iron Maiden for you. I grew up listening to Iron Maiden. I love those guys. Um, why can I not play an electric guitar without demolishing the strings? I play acoustic mostly and get, uh, get it that electric is delicate but tips george you'll have to let me know what you mean by destroying the string demolishing the strings like are they tearing up or what i need to know what do you mean um victor says thank you can you talk about your amps especially the fender this is a fender blues junior it's a one it's a 12 inch speaker it's tube it has a pre and a master volume. So what that means is I can turn the master volume down, turn the pre way up if I want it to get it to break up, to get that nice. Now these are pedals that are doing this, but I can also get it to be nice and clean. Or a little bit heavier. we hear that distortion we want to kind of rock out more so <clears throat> but this amp could do all of that without the pedals but it doesn't have pedal hookup so I, I, I like the sound of my pedals more than I do the natural distortion from this but this is a fantastic amp it's it's an affordable tube amp uh, I, I have lots of amps um, more upstairs and have owned just about every amp in the world not every amp in the world I've owned a lot of a lot of amps many many amps um, and really, you can do so much with any amp if you've got the right pedals, if you've got the right attitude and you tweak and what have you. But this is great because it's nice and small. I, it takes the pedals really nicely so I can break it up with the pedals or make it clean or whatever. Uh, it's got built-in reverb so I don't have to have a reverb pedal on if I don't want just for the basic sound. If I wanna add some more reverb, I could do that. It has a small three, um, uh, three uh, band equalizer in it and um, yeah, great amp. I love it. It's fantastic. Okay, uh, Isidro. Isidro. Oh, okay, thank you. Isidro. See, look at how he, he made that where I can get it. Thank you, sir. Um, okay, should I do the 30 lesson part first? Is that free then on to the paid stuff? Is that how it's designed? Danny, you can do any, any way that you want to do it. Um, you know, like I say, if you get to the trial, it includes those 30, but then you have the whole thing to choose from, and that's a buck to get into. So you could do it that way, or you could just say, I don't want to pay anything, I just want to do the first 30 lessons, and that's all I want to do on guitar, I don't want to get any better than that. Or you could say, I want to do the first 30 lessons, and then I want to get into more of what the Unstoppable guitar system has. Um, that sort of thing. We'll be offering a la carte bits here soon, but obviously a la carte is where you buy things one at a time. Um, the whole system is, it, it, it would cost less for a lifetime membership than it would be to buy even the videos that are in there right now, which I'm adding uh, usually about 10 videos a month, so maybe 120 videos in a year. Uh, that'd be 100, another 120 bucks. So the best thing to do if you really want to learn everything is to just get a lifetime membership. You can do it in quarterly payments or, or just pay for the whole thing. 
Um, but either way, it's really up to you how you want to do it, you know? So many different ways to do it. I try to make it something for everybody, you know? How often should I replace my strings? Um, Alexander is saying, I don't like to replace my strings too often, so I don't. I just, I do it when they break. And that's about it. Okay, but uh, when they start sounding bad, if you look down and they're not shiny anymore, if they're going out of tune a lot, that's when to change your strings, you know? Uh, hey brother, is the Blues Junior good for bedroom levels? Yeah, right now, that's not loud at all. It's about as loud as if I was talking like this. I got a different microphone on it, but it's, you know, it's like if I was kind of shouting. I'm not sure why I'm doing that pitch. Like I have voice, voice modulation. I don't. Uh, it's good for bedroom levels. It's fine. If you're pushing it with a pedal, it's going to sound better if you're pushing it with a pedal. I'm trying to find something tube driven that I can use for my bedroom that'll sound good. My Marshall half stack is ruining my walls. Neighbors hate me. Get this amp and get a Line 6 M5 pedal. This guy right here, get that guy. Everybody who's listening to me right now, I really wish that Line 6 would endorse me because that pedal right there, I'm in love with that thing. And it does what all these other pedals do, except it's in one little package. Now, it'll only do one at a time, so I can't have that and a delay going and a, a reverb and a wah-wah and a volume. But if I just want to pick one thing at a time, that's the way to go. That M5 pedal, that thing is a beast. So make sure you get that, okay? Super cool. Uh... I'm a big fan of yours, by the way. Thank you, Alexander. I so appreciate that. I really, truly do. Um, all right, my friends. I told you I was just going to pop in here really quickly because I'm doing these videos, and I want, but I wanted to check in with you. Number one, I wanted to see how your practices are going, what problems you're having, answer some questions for you guys, let you know about the big broadcast that's this Sunday at 2 p.m. Yeah, this Sunday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time more information about that, actually to sign up, not only to be registered for the contest, but then to download the PDFs that I'm gonna be including. I'm including a ton of stuff that's really gonna help with your practice schedule. So yourguitarsage.com slash live. Write that on your forehead right now. Make sure you go there right after this broadcast because we're gonna end it here right now. Um, I'll call line six right now, yeah. Or Guitar Center, that's where I got it from. It's like 120 bucks, the best 120 bucks you'll ever spend. Um, YourGuitarStage.com slash live. Join me this weekend, win uh, over $1,000 worth of fun stuff. Learn a bunch of stuff for free. Uh, some, some great PDFs. You're going to learn about the direction of how to practice, how to think about the guitar, and how to, to get over some humps. Okay, so we're going to be talking about that. Um, we'll probably even answer some questions just like this. It'll be even better quality than what you're seeing right here because Facebook limits you a little bit with the with the um, pixels. Yeah, the pixels. And uh, what else? YourGuitarStage.com slash 30. Get that free stuff. I try to give you as much free stuff as possible. Uh, obviously, uh, I need to keep the lights on so I have some stuff that you can buy as well, like books and other courses and stuff. But I try to give you stuff as much free stuff as possible, you know? Danny, you know where to get the free stuff, brother, you know? Uh, Christine's saying, thanks, Ear. Try to learn to stand up and play instead of sitting. Yeah, do it. Stand up. Stand up and play. It's awkward at first. People say, how do I get good at that? By standing up and practicing. That's how you get good at that. One major change in my playing has happened since I started using a strap. Yeah, right? Uh, looking forward to the broadcast. My patient, my practice time isn't bearing fruit. I tend to, to just play the same thing over and over again. Same, same stuff. Uh, true. So we're going to try to fix that. All right, my friends, I'm out of here. Eric Andres, your guitar stage. Let me know how I can help. I love you guys. You guys make my, my world. I, can, I love doing this. I love giving information. I love giving guitars away. I was telling my buddy, I want to, by this time next year, I want to be giving $10,000 worth of stuff away at every broadcast. I'd love to go by a year and give $120,000 worth of stuff away. But alas, we're giving away $1,000 worth of stuff right now. The more I grow, the more stuff I give away. I love doing it. It's so much fun. All right. Um, all right, my friends, I'm out of here. See you. Have a great time. And I will see you on Sunday, yourguitarstage.com slash live yourguitarstage.com slash 30. Two free things for you. See ya!